we're going to get a big old platter of calamari yeah. and fries from Ooh. Zelda's. We're going to be like, guess what, Sal? Guess what we have? Yeah. So, and we're and at the right spot for it. We, we are here at Zelda. Yeah. Zelda's on the beach, right? Zelda's yeah. on the beach. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk to uh, the head of Zelda's on the beach. Thanks for j joining us, Josh Whitby. Um, you know, we were talking in the commercial break a minute ago. From January 5th to today, I bet you feel like you've lived 10 lifetimes. Oh, completely. Yeah. Absolutely. Tell it's me been... about the storm damage and, like, the recovery you guys are still going through. It's been a long trip. Um, it was a long time getting everything done digging out all the sand from underneath the building yeah. building the walls putting the deck back together um it was completely everything was completely demolished and it was uh, earlier before the show started i decided to bring my computer out and sit on the deck as i was getting ready for the, for the show today and i just went and looked through some of the old pictures and it was amazing to me that deck area was torn apart yeah. uh, by the bomb cyclone that moved through here back in January and how well you've put it back together again. Uh, tell us about the work that you've been putting into getting everything back up to where it was before. So for about three and a half months, we were seven days a week. Uh, my entire mm -hmm. kitchen guys were all here every day, uh, a couple framer guys. Um, we spent a lot of time just putting it all back and just rebuilding from the ground up. It was yeah. nothing. It was the deck boards yeah. and that was it. Yeah. It was amazing. Um, would, reframe the entire walls and everything. Wow. Would people come back to you for the first time and you see your regulars or see new faces, what do they say to you? They are super enthralled by the beam that we hung across the, the, the ceiling. Um, and mostly it's just, thank you for being back. Yeah. We're so happy, you're so, so happy you're back. Yeah. You had uh, a lot of uh, window damage. I mean, the damage was pretty, pretty extensive here. Um, and now you've been open for a month. Uh, you really, you know, to recover, you need people back here. Uh, we know the town wants to let everyone know they're open for business right now. Talk to us a little bit about the, you know, what you need here to see from visitors and let them know in terms of the reopening of Capitola, coming down here for Memorial Day weekend, coming down here for the summer. Well, we need to know them to know that we're all open. It's not mm -hmm. just the restaurants. The mm -hmm. shops are open. All of those places need the business that the tourists come back and bring mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And as you look out to the coming months, I mean, I, I imagine you have a little bit of hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, what, I mean, but you, to be clear, you guys are still working. I yes. mean, this is not normal operations. So how, how do you balance, you know, what you have to do every day to get food on people's plates versus you're still fixing up your, your shop? We try to do the work early. Um, like we still have stucco going on. Uh, they mm -hmm. did the wow. metal lath and all that this week, and then we do the mud next week. So it's trying to keep it in the slow days, doing the work, and just try to not impact the customers as much as possible. It looks beautiful in there, I, I gotta say. I, you know, just in there earlier, you guys have done an amazing job. I, I do wanna ask you, and I wanna make an old reference, and I know this is kind of a side note. How did you get the name of the restaurant? So the name of the restaurant is from Zelda's Fitzgerald mm -hmm. um, and the Great Gatsby. So the first restaurant my wife and her family bought was um, the Great Gatsby down in San Diego in the Gaslight District. Uh -huh. So oh, it's nice. kind of a little homage to that. Nice. Oh, fantastic. I just I was curious about that. It was a great name. Yeah. So yeah. We, we talked about calamari and fries. Is that your number one dish? Yeah. Number one dish. This is your moment to brag. Tell us, you know, we'll bring, <laughs> bring everyone down here. What yeah. are your favorites? Uh, our hamburger is probably one of the best ones in town these days. Yeah. Um, nice. Our salads, our cocktails are beyond compare. Really? In the village, yeah, and I imagine people must sit and linger for a minute here. So yeah. we'll start with a cocktail, yeah. then we'll do a salad, then we'll do the burger, then maybe some dessert. I mean, it's, it Absolutely. can be a, a whole long thing. Absolutely. And then when junior guards get here, parents sit on the walkway, have their drinks mm -hmm. while their kids run around and do all the things that they need to do. It's great. Oh, it's great. Josh, um, you know, you've owned this for, for several years now. When you saw the damage and you came out after the storm, did, did you realize how intense it was going to be? And did you were you prepared for the damage that you saw that day? No. Um, I knew there was going to be some damage, um, not anywhere near as extensive as it was. Um, it was pretty heartbreaking to walk in and see walls gone. Wow. Wow. Um, well, it's, it's fantastic the work you guys have done, as I said before, to make things, I mean, even the patio, the deck yeah. area out here is beautiful. So when you guys are open for business for people to come back out and hang out right really close to the water and uh, and have something to eat and have some of your cocktails. It'd be great. For sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations you on coming this far. Yeah. Thank you so Just much. Just incredible work. Capitol right. is very lucky.